Welcome into another video, this time week 7, Thursday Night Football, as the Jaguars taking on the Saints. There's a lot of fantasy production going to be in this game, and I can't wait to go over it with you. Let's get started. Let's take a look at the fantasy players to watch in this game. First on the Jaguars side, the top fantasy players, in my opinion, are quarterback Trevor Lawrence, running back Travis Etienne, wide receiver Calvin Ridley, wide receiver Christian Kirk, and tight end Evan Ingram. For starters, let's talk about Trevor Lawrence. Lawrence going up against a defense, giving up the fifth least passing yards and ranked sixth for fantasy points allowed to opposing quarterbacks. The Saints defense have been dominant at times this season, and it should be a good matchup between a very good defense taking on a good offense in the Jaguars. So, but you know, Lawrence has so many good weapons at his disposal. He's a good fantasy quarterback, but I do see him struggling this week against this Saints defense. After a crushing loss last week against the Texans, I'm sure the Saints will step it up this week against the Jaguars defense. If you have Lawrence, you have to start him, but just understand he could have a rough week. Now let's go ahead and move on to Travis Etienne. Etienne is going up against a defense giving up the ninth least yards and ranked second for fantasy points allowed to opposing running backs. Etienne ran wild last week, but this week he looks to have a much more difficult matchup. The Saints historically have had a very good run defense and that seems to be the case this year as well. The thing is that ETN has going for him is really that he catches the swing passes and the screens in this offense which does you know up his value against this tough defense. Like Lawrence, if you have ETN, you will have to play him. Just temper your expectations this week against one of the better defenses in the NFL thus far this season. Next is Calvin Ridley. Now, Ridley's going up against that defense ranked 13th for fantasy points allowed to opposing wide receivers. The wide receiver position is a position I feel you can start to attack the Saints defense. They are pretty good overall, but success can be had and Calvin Ridley has the talent to make some nice catches. The hope here is that Marshawn Lattimore isn't blanketing Ridley all game long. If that is the case, then you may want to look more towards Kirk having a better game than Ridley. At the end of the day, the entire Jaguars offense is a start this week, but I just want to give everybody just, just hey, lower your expectations for fantasy fireworks against this stout defense. Now let's talk about Christian Kirk. Now Kirk has been thriving in this offense surrounded with talent. Kirk should see an uptick in targets this week if Lattimore decides to shadow Ridley. Kirk has exceptional route running ability and sometimes it's good to target the Saints slot corners. So look for Kirk to have one of his best games this season as I see the Jaguars in a competitive matchup this week against the Saints. They're going to have to throw the ball a lot and that is why I like Kirk. Lastly, let's go ahead and talk about Evan Ingram. Ingram is going against a defense ranked 8th for fantasy points allowed to opposing tight ends. Ingram is another player I can see having success this week. At the end of the day, the Jaguars are going to need to pass the ball in this matchup, and someone has to catch the ball. Ingram was second in targets last week with seven and should receive a nice chunk of targets this week against the Saints team who allowed 61 yards and a touchdown last week to tight end Dalton Schultz. Now let's go ahead and switch gears and move over to the Saints as I see the top fantasy players for this team, in my opinion, are running back Alvin Kamara, wide receiver Chris Olave, and wide receiver Michael Thomas. First, we will talk about Alvin Kamara. Now Kamara is going against a defense, giving up the third fewest rushing yards and ranked fourth for fantasy points allowed to opposing running backs. What I do like about Kamara is how involved he is in that passing game. Kamara may struggle to establish a reliable run game against the Jaguars, but he will make up for that with the number of receptions that he's going to have. Alvin Kamara is always a good play for fantasy football, and I do expect him to have an okay game this week. Just don't expect an explosive game, as I see Derek Carr and these receivers to be a much better option this week. Now let's talk about Chris Olave. Now Olave is going up against a defense ranked 25th for fantasy points allowed to opposing wide receivers. It seems as if this year, you know, there are tons of passing yards allowed on this defense. And with the way that the week kind of ended, I can see Derek Carr and this offense to just come out throwing the ball all over the field. Chris Olave is my favorite player in this matchup this week, as if I'm not sure that there's anyone else who can really slow down this offensive uh, weapons of the Jaguars defense. There's a lot of offensive weapons on that Saints team. Get Olave in your lineups. 
Last but not least, for the fantasy players that I'm watching in this week on Thursday Night Football, it's Michael Thomas. Thomas has been a reliable option, especially on third down this season. The quality hands that he does show is giving me those flashes of the young Michael Thomas. The problem is that he doesn't have Drew Brees, and he doesn't have the offensive line that he had either. If the O-line is able to give Carr a good amount of time to throw the ball, it could be a good week against this Jaguars defense. Just like there's players that I would target for fantasy in this game, there's also some sleepers that you could have if you're in a pinch and need somebody for a flex spot. For the Jaguars, I can see Zay Jones as fantasy viable only if he is healthy and he plays. He is still labeled as day to day with that knee injury and does have a chance to play against the Saints on Thursday night. Now if it was me, knowing that there's an extended amount of time before they play again, I would rest Zay Jones this week. I had to add him to my video just because if he does play, he would definitely be a viable option. You know, as of the recording of this video, he hasn't been ruled either in or out, so just make sure you check the injury report prior to the game starting just to make sure he's playing and if he is in your lineup. For the Saints, I can see Derek Carr and Rashid Shahid having a shot at some fantasy relevance if you're in a pinch. The Jaguars are giving up the second most fantasy points to opposing quarterbacks, and as we saw last week, Carr has the capability of a 300-yard passing game. Sprinkle in a few touchdowns, and you could have a really nice play here. If your quarterback is on bye or injured, give a good look at Derek Carr this week against the Jaguars. Another play I do like here is Rashid Shahid. This guy is the epitome of a boom or bust type of player. He really depends on whether or not he can catch that deep ball or not. I do like him this week as a flex player. He has a good opportunity to help you get a win. I'd say if you have Shahid, get him in your lineup. At the end of the day, anyone can go off and become a fantasy asset, but it's ultimately up to you to decide who goes into your lineup. As always, thank you for watching the video. Hit the subscribe button if you aren't subscribed yet. We are well on our way to 700 subscribers. I wish you well this Sunday. I hope you guys are all either cashing on DraftKings or winning a championship at the end of the season. We'll see you guys next time.